Welcome everyone. My name's Ian Yarwood and I'm a lawyer here in Perth, Western Australia. Three days ago on the 15th of October 2021, I published a video and here is the, here is the thumbnail. And this video was in support of Zorlin and Waipio, who were the two Burmese men who were uh, convicted on very bogus evidence for the murders of Hannah Witheridge and David Miller. Now, in response to that video, there was a few positive responses, but I also received a reply from a viewer by the name of Denny Crane. And I'd like to read out a bit of a discussion that I had with him so that it helps highlight some of the reasons that uh, this channel actually exists. Okay, the discussion goes as followed. Uh, Denny starts, of course, with uh, uh, a comment and his comment is I still believe it was them. Then I replied that's okay some people believe in the tooth fairy and the Easter Bunny. Some people even trust one of the most corrupt police forces in the world. There's a technical term to describe such people they are gullible. Some are even willfully gullible. Have a nice day. So that was my response then he replied again and he said I didn't say Thai police are not corrupt, just that in this specific case, I believe it was them. Stop making assumptions. Then I replied again. I said, hi Denny, have you assumed that the DNA evidence that the Royal Thai Police concocted to convict the accused was remotely reliable? His response was, DNA reliability in second world countries isn't like that in westernized countries so it's probably not reliable in this case. The timing of when they say they were tortured is off and they showed no physical signs of being tortured. Also just because there is leaked footage of similar torture in Thailand the way these guys say doesn't mean that they are telling the truth. For example I've seen and read about I've, I've seen and read about this type of torture so I go to Thailand and do something bad. I can claim I was tortured and explain it exactly uh, the way I have seen it on this channel. Does that make me innocent? My response is, it is a complete understatement to say the DNA evidence was not as reliable as in Western countries. The Thai police evidence was utterly bogus. With respect, it would be helpful for you to look into it more closely there is plenty of information available on this channel. So Denny's response to that was, I've read a lot about the case and others in Koh Tao, but still am not entirely convinced they are innocent. I came across this channel recently and it just comes across more biased than not. Your dedication is awesome though, and that's admirable. The reality is these things happen and, vis and visitors take risks wherever they go. It is sad but the fact is that visitors are completely in someone else's territory. Yet that doesn't make it right for locals to get away with killing or framing outsiders. Also these two victims were educated and smart. Surely they knew about the corruption and violence. Why did they choose to go there and engage in a night of debauchery? in a foreign country. I've been to some bad parts of Venezuela and would never have acted this way on a night on the town simply because of the crap I've heard about the country. And my response was, Hi Denny, I am genuinely interested in your comments because they provide some insight into why a significant minority of Westerners believe that the Burmese guys <coughs> are guilty or that they might be guilty. In fact, you are part of the reason this channel exists. In one of your comments, you state that you have read a lot about the case. I've read a lot about the case in the mainstream media and found an alarming amount of the published content to be superficial, poorly researched, and or based upon uncritical assumptions about the accuracy of Royal Thai Police statements. You seem to have accepted assertions from the Royal Thai Police that the accused were not tortured. Those assertions were not based upon those assertions were based upon a medical examination conducted after 
the accused's bodies were given time to recover. I was not at the trial, but I understand that one of the prosecution's own witnesses gave evidence in cross-examination that he saw evidence of torture upon the return of the, of the accused to their cell. There was no cogent evidence anywhere that Hannah and David had been involved of a night of debauchery, although irresponsible assertions like that were being thrown around like confetti by the Royal Thai Police throughout the weeks following the murders. I hope you note that I have published many videos on this channel describing situations where tourists have been attacked on Koh Tao without provocation. I note that you have the view that my uh, commentary seems biased. In my defence, I say that my conclusions are based upon evidence and facts, rather than upon misinformation and disinformation. I mentioned the mainstream media, but there was even more dubious commentary in social media. Thanks for taking the time to comment, Denny, despite our obvious difference of opinion. And at the end, there was a comment from uh, uh, another viewer who is um, a supporter of the ch channel by the name of Alan Lawson, and he uh, asks Denny, uh, why do you think it was them? Is it because of their confessions or is it something else? And uh, to date, we haven't got uh, any further responses. But uh, anyway, that uh, helps explain some of the reasons why this channel exists. Uh, I have found amongst the mainstream media that there has been a huge variation in the quality of reporting. There have uh, been some really uh, good, uh, well-researched material and there's been other stuff which is mediocre and at the other extreme of the spectrum there's been some pretty woeful reporting. And social media has been all over the place and of course there are people who have a very vested interest in promoting not just misinformation, which is information which is just false and it might be innocently or negligently false, but also disinformation, uh, statements that are deliberately and uh, knowingly sort of false. So that gives you a bit more background as to why uh, I have this channel. There are other reasons as well, but I am trying to correct a lot of the uh, misinformation and disinformation that's been floating around so that uh, we don't have so many misinformed uh, people running around. And I'm often reminded of a, a saying from Mark Twain to the effect that uh, it's much easier to uh, fool someone than it is to convince them that they have been fooled. And uh, often people just happen to believe you know some of the first things they read and see. So when uh, statements uh, made very recklessly by the Royal Thai Police pointing fingers at one person then another and going backwards and forwards. Often people just latch on to something, they'll latch on to a headline and they form a conclusion and, and then it can become very difficult to uh, point out uh, the absurdity of some of the headlines and the absurdity of some of the statements from the Royal Thai Police, especially if someone has, uh, or the, uh, the, the person who has uh, been sucked in by the Royal Thai Police has got no idea of just how corrupt and how dishonest they are. Well, thank you very much for viewing. If you've thought this video was remotely helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Please uh, share it and leave a comment below if you wish. Thank you very much and stay safe. Bye for now.